Hello again, Fossil Ridge. This is Mr. Howell right back at you. Today we are going to have another installment of uh, student behavioral expectations. Uh, we're going to talk today about what we expect at Fossil Ridge as far as behavior is concerned in the classroom. Uh, before we get to that, I just want to uh, remind everyone of our five characteristics of a trexcellent student at Fossil Ridge. These characteristics uh, will enable all of you to be successful while you are here at Fossil Ridge. And not only will they allow you to be successful here at Fossil Ridge, but they'll allow you to be successful outside of school and well into your future. So again, remember our five key characteristics of a successful student are a person who is respectful, a person who is responsible, a person who is resilient, a person who is kind, and a person who is safe. Again, as we've as we've talked about and as we've begun the process of talking about uh, behavior expectations, just keep in mind um, one thing as we as we talk about uh, these expectations, whether it's hallway expectations, classroom expectations, commons expectations, expectations we have with dress code or cell phones. These, these expectations are simply the way we do things here at Fossil Ridge, the way it is done at Fossil Ridge. And these expectations we take very seriously. We feel like these ex expectations define who we are and set us apart as a school and as individuals. So keep in mind as we talk about these expectations, these expectations simply represent who we are and what we are all about here at Fossil Ridge. So today we're going to talk about classroom behavior and uh, what the expectations are in our classrooms. Now first of all, one thing you need to kind of keep in mind is that we have a variety of different looking classrooms here at Fossil Ridge. Um, the gym, for example, is a classroom. The media center, for example, is a classroom. Over here you see Mrs. Uh, Jones Janice's classroom, which is quite different. You have the tables and the chairs, obviously, but you also have little kitchenette areas. Uh, you have the standard classroom uh, with, with the desks and, and the, the smart board and, and things like that. We also have, you know, a, a choir room and a theater room and a band room and an orchestra room. Here's the point I'm trying to make, students. Our classrooms may look differently. What's taught in our classrooms is different from classroom to classroom and teacher to teacher. However, the expectations that we have within those classrooms remain the same. So it doesn't matter if you're in the gym or the media center or Mrs. Harrington's classroom or the band room or Mrs. Goobler's art room. The expectations for your behavior in those classrooms remains the exact same. So to start with, let's talk about the expectation before class begins, before school. So, and we, and we talked about this earlier when we were talking about behavior in the halls. Uh, but again, let's, let's just review this. Prior to the school day beginning, uh, remember, we're going to remain in the commons area. So when you get here, whether you arrive on the bus or whether you arrive uh, via carpool or whether you've, you've walked to school, we're going to stay in the commons area until the first bell rings, unless, unless you have a pass from a teacher or a library sticker attached to your student ID card. If you do not have a pass from a teacher or a sticker attached to your ID card, then you must stay in the commons area 
until the first bell rings. We want our, our teachers to be able to take advantage of the time that they have in the mornings to ensure that they are prepared for you when you arrive uh, to class that day so that your, your class lesson can be as successful as possible to ensure high levels of learning for every one of our students. So until the first bell room, excuse me, until the first bell rings, we need you to remain in the commons unless you have one of those items. Now, once class has, has started, uh, once the bell has, has sounded to alert you that it's time to go to class, then we expect every single student in this building, no matter who you are, to be to class on time. That is an expectation. We want to make sure as a school that every single second of class time is used and available to be used uh, to again ensure that our students are engaged in high levels of learning. So be to class on time. It's crucial uh, for the teacher and it's crucial for you and the entire class uh, to get off to that good start every day, every class period. Once you're in the classroom, do respect the equipment, whether it's computers or textbooks or desks or lab equipment. If you're in the science lab, it could be the art supplies you're using in Mrs. Goobler's class. It could be instruments that you are using in band or orchestra. Whatever the equipment is, relative to that particular class, respect the equipment. Take good care of the equipment. Leave it better than you found it. And this includes your own personal belongings as well. Those items are there for you to use to help your learning. And if those items are misused or destroyed or broken, or tampered with, then it will impact your ability and the ability of other students later in the day uh, to have that necessary equipment to be used for, for their personal learning. Again, when you are in the classroom, your cell phone should be in your backpack and turned off. In your backpack, not your pocket, in your backpack and turned off, unless, unless that classroom teacher has asked you to use them for that day's lesson or activity. Now, each individual classroom teacher will have a different set of class rules and expectations, a different set of instructions uh, for each of your teachers. Ensure that you are following those class rules. They will be made clear to you. Your teachers will clarify those for you. They will, model, they will model those for you. They will continue to teach those. They will allow you to practice them. And they will expect you, students, to follow, those, to follow those rules, instructions, and expectations from class period to class period. You are required to follow every classroom expectation that your individual teacher has of you. If there is an expectation or a rule or an instruction that you don't understand, please ask your teacher. Please ask your teacher to, uh, to clarify uh, to, so that you can understand what it is the expectation is so that you can follow it. But again, make sure you get to class on time take care of the equipment that is available for your use, and follow the individual classroom instructions and expectations of each one of your teachers. Those rules, those instructions, those expectations are in place for you, for the other students in the class uh, to ensure a, a positive learning environment that will produce high levels of learning, not only for you, uh, but for the other members of the class. Continuing with uh, those behaviors that we're looking for in the classroom during school, 
in addition to being on time each day, you need to make sure that you are prepared every single day, students. You need to be prepared for class. Now again, some classes may, preparation may look a little different than others. But for the most part, what does bring, what, excuse me, what does being prepared look like? It looks like having your backpack with you, having a pencil with you, having some kind of a, a notebook or paper with you, having your just right book with you at all times, any necessary or needed work, and of course, having your planner with you at all times. Be prepared with those items. Be prepared each day for each class with paper, pencil, necessary work and assignments, your just right reading book, and your student planner. When you're in the classroom, be respectful of the teacher. Be respectful of the other students in the room. Keep your hands to yourself. Do speak respectfully when addressed by an adult. Do speak respectfully when addressing other students. Do have your planner out before you leave sixth period as you get ready for reach. Do have your planner out as you enter first period every single day. Starting this year, when we begin to stamp for reach, we will do a planner check every single morning during first period announcements. You must have that planner with you first period. Your teachers will do a planner check first period, and then we will also do a reminder later in the day as we prepare for reach uh, to have your planner out and ready to go for reach at the end of sixth period. Ensure students that you are treating substitutes the same way you would treat your normal classroom teacher, and that's with respect. Leave your gum at home. Gum has no place here at Fossil Ridge Intermediate School. It has no place in the classroom. We don't want to see it. We want you to leave it home. So don't even bring gum to school and keep it in your backpacks. Keep your gum at home where it's not uh, a, 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 it's not something that you even are tempted with during the school day. Just leave it at home. And then as you're working with technology and computers and things of that nature in your classroom environment, please ensure that you are following the district acceptable use policy. And we'll talk a bit, a little bit more about that, as will your teachers talk with you more about that in their individual classrooms. If we are using devices at school, we are using them for the purposes of learning. We are not using devices to play video games. We are not using devices to text or get on social media. We're not using devices to listen to music. We are using devices to assist us in the learning process to help ensure that we are going to learn at high levels while we are in the classroom. And then finally, uh, after school, after reach ends, what do we do? We simply exit the classroom immediately. We make sure again that we are walking on the right-hand side of the hallway as we uh, exit the building, whether we're going out to the back of the building to catch the bus or ride our bike or walk home or out to the front of the building through the main exit and entrance area uh, to connect with our carpool. So again, real quickly, before my time runs out here, uh, classroom rules and expectations are put into place by our teachers and by the school as a whole to ensure a positive learning environment to allow all of you to learn at high levels.